Questions on value. I don't get adding value to permission, okay? This is probably one of the most misunderstood parts of dog training and one of the biggest ninja secrets you could ever learn as a dog owner. Think of activities your dog loves to do, and there'll be two categories of those activities. So think of all the things your dog loves to do. Going for a swim, going for a, a jog with you, hiking in the woods, running after other dogs, um, stealing food from the garbage, chasing kids on bicycles, chasing cars, biting tires. What are some other things dogs love to do? All right, there's two categories of these things. And the two categories are things I don't ever really want my dog ever to do because they could kill him. And things that I love to see my dog do because I just love to see my dog happy when he's running after a, a, a ball or, or, you know, having a great swim. So those two categories, the one goes into your list of things we're going to work to minimize the impact of that value so your dog can just go, oh yeah, that was in a different life. I don't really even care about that anymore. And we're going to take that list of things your dog loves. Let's take going for a swim. Here's typically how dogs go for a swim. I don't know why just by me saying this, I think of a big old big lab, yellow lab. They love swimming. So you get out of the car, you go to the same swimming spot every time. So as you're driving up, your dog knows exactly where you're going. And so he's in the back of the car spinning and singing the songs of his people. Going swimming, going swimming, going swimming. And you open the back of the car and you wrestle with him to get his leash on. And then he bolts out of the car and then he pulls you to the swimming hole and then you fight, you grab his collar and fight to unclip that leash. And oh my gosh, there he goes. He's in the swimming hole. This, I know I was really excited, wasn't I? That is, that is an example of my Amazon driver arriving. That is an example of the great value of swimming, staying entirely with that hole of water. How does that help you? How does it benefit the hole of water to have your dog's passion? It doesn't, but it benefits you. And so we teach you how to take that passion and put it onto you. And so what ends up happening is you're driving up to the swimming hole and your dog knows exactly where you're going, just like he always has. But he also knows if I'm a really good boy, I might get to go swimming. Oh, that's so excited about this. But I need to be really good. Okay, shh, no, no, shh, shh, no. They're ready to explode, but they're showing you how good they can be. And then them being good is the game on sign. Just like my puppy showing the game on sign when she wanted to have her nails done. And then I open the crate door. I open the back of my car, but of course my dogs are in a crate. So then I open the crate door and they're still like <laughs> game on position as I'm sitting and you can put on my leash. I'm so excited. And then they walk to the swimming hole at your side, probably prancing like one of those Spanish lipizzaner horses, right? Like, oh, oh, I'm going swimming. I'm so excited, but I'm with my mom and I love her. And then they get to the swimming hole and they sit in that big old lab. You know how fast they can wag those tails? Boom, 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 boom. Or you're taking off the leash and then they're sitting there. The leash is off. And they're looking at you. <sighs> I'm in my game on position. Can you say the word, please? And then you say, go for a swim. Boom. That's when the magic happens. And that's what I mean by transfer value. And I hope all the questions don't take me that long to answer because we could be here for a really long time. 